Hello and welcome to my little, uh, what is this? This is me checking out the Fallout 4 texture pack. I think it's Fallout 4 texture pack or just the Fallout texture pack. I don't know. It's got some Fallout 4 stuff in it anyway. I thought I'd do a series of these. Just one every now and then. Get the new ones done. Some of the older ones. Some of the ones that are less used. Um, basically just give you a guide. If you're thinking maybe do you want to buy this texture pack? But you don't want to waste the money. Because they're like, they're like a fiver now because it's a mashup pack. Um, then I can show you around. And then you'll know, won't you? You'll be like, eh, I do want to buy that. Or, no, that's awful. Anyway, like I said, this is the Fallout one. So we're going to get straight into it. This is um, Mr. Punkman. Mr. Punkman is going to give us an example of how some of the works block, work, blocks work together when uh, in the configuration of a Punkman. He's always going to be here um, whenever I do these texture pack videos. Like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to probably um, bash out quite a few of these within the next, uh, next month or so. Let's get quite a few of them out. Um, I won't be promoting these quite so much after this one, so you will have to have a look on the channel itself if you want to find them. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get on with it. So basically what I've done is I've tried my best to lay everything out in a way that should be easy. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go through each of the menus as we go, um, starting with this one, which is the here we go, first menu. Bit of this, and then we'll be going over here. Bit of this, <laughs> going kind of along here, and then flipping back over here and going that way. I know that seems strange, um, and that's because it is, basically. I'm not going to go through every single block, block by block. Uh, obviously, that is ridiculous. I'm just going to kind of slowly scan over them so you can see them nicely, and just point out a few that I, th I personally think are pretty awesome. So first of all, we have all the blocks in the first menu here. This is not including the doors and fences, um, uh, the iron bars, trap doors, um, fence gates, stuff like that. This is just literally just blocks, slabs, stairs. So we start at the top. So we've got our stones and our dirts, uh, and our coarse dirts, our grass paths and stuff, all our sands. Pretty generic, pretty deep, basic stuff really going on there. Nice textures, a little bit. A little bit gritty, but that's kind of what you would expect from um, from Fallout, really. Uh, third line down, I'm actually looking. Okay, so these are our, our blocks of ores, which is quite interesting. We've got this one here, which is actually a block of emerald, which is, as you zoom out from it, it's actually a Nuka-Cola sign. You get really close and it falls apart. Now, I'm not sure if that's by design. It seems a bit strange. I see Nuka-Cola and Blurry Mess. That's very strange. Yeah, and then you've got your actual ores as you would dig them up, which look pretty good, I must say. You've got this, uh, what is this? Uh, you've got your nether quartz and warp block and stuff. You've got... There's bedrock there. That's pretty good for bedrock. It's probably the most natural looking bedrock I've ever seen as well. Uh, you've got your woods. Woods are pretty generic, but very good. I like this one with the studs in it. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got your logs, which look pretty good. And then, where are we next? Da, 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 da. We have yeah, gravel and our bricks. Now, I really like the um, the brick. So this is brick, isn't it? This is normal brick. Okay. Which looks, looks pretty decent, because bricks normally look awful. There's very few texture packs in which they look good. And then if we go down here, real quick, we have... Where am I looking here? Here, um, here we are. We have bricks. I've lost myself completely here. We have... Here we go. We have nether brick and the red nether brick, which is here and here. The red nether brick is um, brown and the nether brick is red, which is a bit strange. I like this brown brick, though. That looks, that looks pretty good. You can make a chocolate house out of that. That would be nice. Um, and then we have uh, some of our... Here we go. A mossy, stone, obsidian, clays, um, ice and packed ice and snows, a netherrack, a soul sand, a glowstone and magma block. That's this line here pretty good. Soul Sand is probably one of the better Soul Sands, I must admit. I'm not too keen when they've got faces in them stuff. It's like, you can't really do much with it when it's got faces in it, you know what I mean? It's pretty specific to things that need faces in. This bomb down here is your Sea Lanterns, Prismarine, other Prismarine blocks, and the Slime. Slime looks good. Slime always looks good. It's always pretty straightforward as Slime. Um, prismarine stuff looks a bit rubbish, if I'm going to be honest. I like the middle block, but the other two are a bit meh, meh. Um, and of course, any light block that pulses like that, I'm instantly turned off by. I just don't, I don't like it. Stop doing it, 4J. Stop it. It's awful. 
Um, and then we have our all our various stones, uh, our silverfish stones, going along here. The mossy stone looks good in this one. I think the, all the stones look pretty good in this one. I must say, I'm impressed by them. Um, and then of course we have where am I here? Yeah, we have our mycelium, coarse dirt, pod salt, and uh, nether brick and stuff. That's dirt. That looks pretty straightforward. You know, it's just dirt, just gritty. Uh, just what you expect from Fallout. So same, same thing up here. As you can see, it's just churned, um, dead, gra dead earth basically, which looks right for what it is. Uh, we have our end stone and some bricks and stuff, uh, and some of our quartz, um, and our purple. I think it's called <laughs> a poor poor or something like that, uh, which is a darker color in this. They're not only purple in most texture packs. Quite like these ones. They're all right. Um, quartz is pretty cool. I think that's mostly for like vault type stuff. It's obviously it's a lighter block than most of the stuff we get. And then of course we have the slabs and stairs versions of everything, which look you know they look the same as the other ones. What's to say? But a different shape. There you go. Um, and then of course right at the bottom we have our clay, our hardened clays, which um, they look pretty damn good. I really like them. Also this one, which I obviously I'm assuming is the black one. Yes, it is. Um, it's completely different than the others. A bit weird. I'm actually going to take this out and have a closer look at it real quick. I, I didn't actually look at the top of it. Yeah. I don't know. It's a strange one, that is. So, um, that is your blocks from your first menu. Pretty much done. I'm going to have a quick scroll down slowly so you can have a closer look. There you go. Um, and get on to the other stuff in the menu, which is the doors and fences, fence gates, uh, trap doors, and other bits and bobs. The door is looking good, like all of them, uh, absolutely fantastic, uh, particularly like this one, I think that's the iron door, I don't know why I just destroyed it, <laughs> damn you iron door, get out, I think it's the iron door, uh, is, of course it is the iron door, um, yeah they look pretty good, this one's the most fallout for me, is this one here, I think, but mostly they're just gen generally pretty damn good doors, you got a one clean one as well if you wanted a, a clean one for whatever reason, um, the rest of them are dirty and kind of broken as they should be got fences and fence gates all looking pretty good i like this one here i don't know why they're in that configuration as well it's a bit strange uh and backwards i'll probably fix that before i do the next texture pack update um uh, video they are i'm trying to say here this one is here we go jungle fence as far as the are uh, they're concerned we got oak spruce Birch, Jungle, Acacia, and Dark Oak in the order of the fence gates, not the order of the fences. So I'll fix that before I get to the next video, uh, the next time I do this texture pack video. Uh, we have trapdoors, lovely trapdoors. That one I really like, that's one of the best trapdoors I've seen in a texture pack. This one, it's alright. This one though, that I like a lot. Uh, we got our nether brick fence, which is pretty cool. Our um, iron, iron bars, which are, I don't know, they're alright. No, they're not blowing my mind. Um, cobblestone walls look pretty good. It's pretty generic. And then what we do, you think we'd, we'd carry on this way, but we're not. We're going over here. <laughs> this is what I did. So where are the portals? Um, here's your end portal. Looking all right. No eyes in these ones. Just kind of button looking things. We have our portal, um, our uh, nether portal. There we go. Which is looking pretty good. I like it. Yep. Can't say anything bad about that. Uh, we have our heads, which are like our Steve head and our creeper head, pretty basic. The dragon, like a big fly, I think it's supposed to be a big bloat fly head. So uh, it's going to be pretty gross if I ever fight the ender dragon in this texture pack, because bloat flies creep me right out. A zombie head, pretty good. Um, that would be the wither skeleton head, that's quite smart. That that would be quite a good helmet actually, I'm going to quickly check that out on my old mods here. There we go. Let's stick that on the rabbit's head and see what it looks like. Hey, that, that is quite cool. That would make a really cool helmet. I like that. I'm going to keep that on. Um, and of course, this is the. What is this? Is this is a skeleton head? Yeah, the skeleton head, which is also. Actually, I think the skeleton head would look even better on top of my body. Here we go. Hello, pick that up. Get rid of it. There we go. Have a look. <laughs> you know what? I think I want to wear that forever. That's beautiful. Oh my god, that, that is an improvement, I must say. Let me uh, 
Yeah, that's that is an improvement. Anyway, um, okay, so we have our. I think this is, this is sponge. This red stuff. Yeah, these are sponges, which are weirdly red. Um, they almost look like they should be in the nether. We've got a melon, uh, two pumpkins. The melon's looking real grotty, as it should. Um, and we have our leaves. Now, the leaves have got a bit crazy over here. Um, because the vines have, the vines have just kind of spread. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure. I'll probably maybe move the leaves to one side at a later date, just for that. Uh, lily pad's looking pretty cool. It's, well, probably, well, definitely the coolest I've ever seen a lily pad look. Not that it matters much, it's not like we use them much, but, you know, at least now if we do, they will look damn good. We've got our plants, all the different flowers and plants looking alright, they all look kind of dead, which is, I suppose, for Fallout, pretty good. Apart from, weirdly, this one here, this one here, and this one here, and a couple of the, uh, the tulips look like they've got a bit more life in them. got our, um, what am I trying to say here, our frame, our... Signs and item frames, that's the one. Looking alright. I like the sign particularly, it's looking pretty good. Um, always ruined by the actual text though with the signs because the text is always so generic. Got a spider's web, very generic, snow, generic again. A general selection of the pictures. Now, obviously, there's quite a lot of pictures, so I couldn't get all of them, but I got as many as I could on this wall. Some of the bigger ones are missing, obviously, because they require quite a lot more space. But the pictures, I think, um, just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. No complaints at all with the pictures. A uh, new call sign, very cool. Couple of numbers for your various vaults, very, very nice. A little um, Fallout style American flag there. It's all good, it's all good. Little skull, little skull over there. Just good, just good. No complaints with that at all. Um, now we are on to, let me think about this. Uh, this is where my brain falls apart. We are basically, I think we're still in, yeah, we're still in this menu. <laughs> Um, we got right. Let's, let's go through it. So, ender rod. We got the um the plant. What is this plant called? Um, where would I find this? Ah, here we go. Uh, is the chorus flower? That is. I like said that this is a new thing to the Xbox. That's why I'm a bit confused. The chorus flower. It is uh growing out of control, of course, because you can't just put it down and let and let it and uh, leave it. It does its own thing. But that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Looks like a, a little bit like the texture of an old lady's couch, I think. I don't know why. Um, got the bone block, the uh, the wheat, the hay, the the block of <laughs> what am I trying to say here? Oh, it's all falling apart. Here we go. The hay bale. There we go. And this is the bookshelf. This is the worst bookshelf. The absolute worst bookshelf I've ever seen on Minecraft. That is awful. What is that? That, that's not even a thing. It's like a little drawer, but it's all, all like it's so obscure, uh, like kind of rough textured that it doesn't look like anything really. And it's got I don't know. That's bad, bad, 4J bad. But you know, it's only one block out of what is mostly a quite impressive texture pack. So you know what you're gonna do. Got the banners, pretty straightforward. They um they look quite pretty and clean for a uh, for the fall for the Fallout texture pack. I think I like them. They're very, they're very basic. You know what I mean. And of course, when it comes to banners, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna play with them and change them in any way you want, anyway. So it is not, you don't really need to worry about it. You know what I mean? Right. I know we were just about to get to the armor. Then you're like, oh, it's armor time. It's not yet. It's not. Haha. <laughs> we have our wools and our glass and our carpets. Um, wool looking good. Lots of stuff. I don't know. Lots of stuff you can do with it. I really like this purple one here. Um, and I say I really quite like this white one. They remind me a little bit of the steampunk texture back in the way, especially the ones with the rivets. Um, but they're looking good. Glass is looking fantastic. Some of it's a little bit poop, like these these um, red and orange ones are, are a bit rubbish. But the rest of them, just brilliant. I love these this porthole. It's very cool. And of course, the carpet is just the um, the carpet version of the wool. Looks pretty good. Really like that. Really, really like that. I've been using that a lot. Um, assuming I, I don't know, I don't know if I'll use this texture pack much generally. Uh, I hope I will because it cost me, like I say, uh, close to five pounds. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got the tracks. Looking pretty good. Yeah, tracks. Uh, this is redstone area, by the way, so I might go a bit, a bit blank in this area because I'm not the biggest redstone fan. But I'll, get, I'll, I'll at least show it off. So these are the tracks. We've got some ladders, which obviously aren't a redstone block, but are for some reason in the redstone area. Uh, we got our dispensers, dropper, uh, uh, yeah, dispensers, droppers, our little pistons here, 
Um, let's get a lever real quick. There we go. Pop that down there. We'll do one here as well. So let's show you them when they're open. They look pretty good. Uh, what's this? I think that is that TNT. I'm assuming that's TNT. It is. It is TNT. There's your TNT. Pretty good looking TNT box. I think it's one of the few TNT blocks that doesn't actually have TNT written on it. Um, there are levers and buttons and pressure plates, a redstone line. That's a block of redstone there. It does that same thing that that other block did earlier where you come out from it and it, you can see it says new call yet closer and it's just a blur. Very weird that. Uh, redstone torches. Um, that's a redstone lamp I believe. Daylight sensor, trip wire, blah 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 blah. Lots of redstone stuff that I I I'm not, I don't feel qualified to comment on. Um, but it looks good, you know what I mean. Trap chest looks pretty, particularly nice, I must say. Um, yeah, we got our armors. Armors are looking pretty good. Last two are probably the best ones. These ones are a bit grotty. The last two though are pretty damn cool. The uh, power armor, and uh, I think that's another type of power armor. It's what the um, armor stand looks naked. If you want to see it, want to see it naked? Woo woo! Very very sexy. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. And then we have a uh, chest, ender chest. Finally, an ender chest that I could actually use um, in a creative build as well. Because normally they've got like eyes on the front of them. They look a bit weird, but that looks pretty good. Uh, ender chest and what have we got here? A crafting tables, furnaces, uh, brewing stands, and such going along. Very nice. Little enchantment table there. That is, what's this here? This is, okay, that's the beacon, of course. Uh, beacon. Beds are pretty good. I like the beds. Um, they've got probably the most plain cauldron ever. That's a bit really, really boring cauldron. Uh, but fine. It's cool. It's not like a bad texture. It's just a bit dull. Um, yeah, and that, I think, is that. So, um, I want you to let me know. I'm going to quickly go through the other menus as well. I'll just have a quick... Just a glance over. Uh, this is all the rest of your stuff. It's your um, your dies. Just just bits of generic rubbish, really. Just stuff that doesn't really go. You can't place down, uh, and can only be, really be held in your hand. Doesn't really bother me what this looks like most of the time. Any foods and stuff. Foods actually look more appetizing than I would have expected. I would have expected them to look a bit more grotty. The swords. Um, they look alright. They're pretty cool. Yeah, they're alright. Um, the ball is a weird one. Looks a bit strange as the ball, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Portions, pretty straightforward. Just uh, nuka cola bottles. Pretty smart actually. Really like that one. Um, basic buckets, other stuff. Let's throw a couple of creatures down if I have the space for it. I know there's quite a few. So, look at the creeper. Everyone wants to see the creeper. Uh, skeleton, spider, zombie. Those are the, the generic four, I think, that everyone wants to see. So, there's your creeper. Ooh, weird. Skeleton is <laughs> on fire. This is a problem. Uh, the spider. The spider looks pretty cool. And the zombie would have burned the zombie as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty basic, actually, to be honest. Um, yeah, anyway. That is the Fallout texture pack, or the Fallout 4 texture pack. I'm not sure. It'll be down in the description which one it's called. Um, and there is Punk Rock Man, who I think suits it. He's wearing it pretty well. Looking pretty good. And I'm going to show you the back of Punk Rock Man as well. It's like actually unfinished on the back. Um, I noticed that the other day. I'm like, oh, that was weird. Why didn't we finish him? Maybe one day we'll put the back of his body on. But uh, yeah, that is, like I say, the Fallout texture pack. I like it. It's not my favourite, I'll be honest. Um... As far as the mash, if, if we talk about just if we're talking about just the mashup packs, then I would say it's probably one of my least favorite. Um, but it's all right. It's got the the thing is it's got some really good stuff going on, but for the most part it's quite plain. It's not as exciting as I, as I expected it to be, um, but it's pretty good. And I, I tell you what, I've had a look around on the actual map that they created with it. And that looks very cool, like very, very cool. So I suppose, um, as usual, just depends what you do with it. You know what I mean? So do something cool with it. And uh, maybe chuck me some pictures on my Facebook or my Twitter feed. Just chuck me some pictures, show me what you've done with this texture pack. Um, and, you know, if they're cool, I might put them up on the channel at some point. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes. Anyway, 
Uh, that is pretty much it for now. My face looks so beautiful with this mask on. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. So, me and the lifted spider behind me would like to say thank you for joining us on this adventure. And I really do hope you join me for the next one. Bye.